Yep. Oh. Yes, I'm making quite a bit of videos today, but I want to try and touch up on the topics that you talked about. So you talked about how you saw the Winchester movie. Um, I know there's a movie like that coming out, but I, I don't know if it's the same thing. I'm just going to assume. Um, for me, I don't think it was misogynist. Maybe, a, a, well, maybe the part where they were trying to take the company away from her after her husband died. Because back then, they didn't think that a woman could do what a man could do and didn't have qualities to, you know, to be headstrong and things like that. But of course, over time, people will find a way to prove you wrong. And... You know, I, I agree with you that she she was adding all these rooms to the house because it was to represent the emptiness she was feeling without her husband. Each room was in a form of emptiness she was feeling. And the more she added on, the emptier she was feeling. And the ones that would sometimes lead to the outdoors and... You could fall out there or to a brick wall. I mean, those, you can find the symbolism in them. Like, you, that brick wall could feel like she's she's reached it like a dead end. Like, there's nothing there for her. It's just like, boom. It's right smack there in her face. Like, my husband's dead. And it's kind of like, it's at the door. Confronting her, you know? And then the ones that lead to nowhere is when it feels like, you know, if you were to step out into the room, you'd fall right to the floor and smack on the ground. I mean, that that's her, you know, feeling like there's nothing beneath her feet. And like she's falling. And she's gonna just fall and crumble when she hits the ground. And, I mean, I think... Personally, that, that that was her just letting everyone know, I feel empty without my husband. I loved him so much. And I still do, and I can't get over it. And so she just added more to the house um, because she was getting lonelier and lonelier. Lonelier. <laughs> and she just... Couldn't deal with it. And people thought she was crazy. Because back then. People weren't very. Knowledgeable. And educated. Really more educated than anything. Um, well education knowledge. Kind of goes hand in hand. Whatever. But they didn't have that education. Of. Like the sickness of the brain. And like. Um, psychological sicknesses. This was depression, and this was so many other things, and she was act. Uh, this was a form her her acting out. You know, some people go freaking crazy, and they do weird stuff, and like they ho they become hoarders because of problems that they have, or they gain weight, and they can't stop, and then that's where you have six hundred pound life. Because they've eaten the, the, all the feelings they can and they're killing themselves. And then they have lymphatic problems because no, there isn't anything going to their, you know, the, their lymph nodes. Yeah, their lymph nodes are being clogged. And because they have not been drained and no nutrients are going to them, it's all this garbage crap. And then you, you have to actually cut... The, those parts away and then sew them up because there's they're completely damaged and you find that in cancer victims by the way because of the radiation and chemotherapy and all of that it destroys it so you get a lot of um of lymphatic problems which is very sad <sighs> and it happens in women more than men But like I said, the whole thing about taking the company away from her was probably, well, I would say, 
was uh, be misogynist, but that's probably it. Maybe like I I'm not sure. I didn't see the movie, but I'm just saying, from what you're saying, it's a possibility. You know, it's probably true because you have to kind of like look at the history. Sorry, the, I'm sitting on the steps and they are not comfortable. So it's like hurting my butt. Anyways, you know, she was, she was going through a hard time and like each addition she was adding to it was just, it was like the house was her heart and she was just making more room for emptiness and for the problems she was having with dealing with the loss of her husband. And yeah, she had a child, but it's hard. Like, she loved him, obviously, very, very much. And we have, we have her heart. We have that pain. Still up and, you know, still having a foundation and everything. To let people know, it's kind of like a symbol to let people know, like, this is sometimes what heartache does. This is what loving someone can do sometimes, like, and the depression that follows it. And the lost and the void you feel when you lose someone that you love so deeply. And... The fact that they're gone, it's hard to cope. And I know that for anyone who's ever lost anyone, whether they actually passed away or it, there was a problem with the relationship or something, but if you ever have ever felt that with someone where you've loved someone and you ended up losing them some way, if you had money like she did, you're in this house and it's just your daughter and like you like what would you do some people blow the money on alcohol or drugs or eat themselves to death or you know do what she did add hundreds of rooms to a house i think it was just like probably over a hundred but i i it was just like she was just adding rooms to her house but it's i mean there's many things that people will do to try and cope with something. But it's not coping, it's running away. And it's something that human beings want to do. They want to run away. You have some people who are more willing to like be like to confront, but they do have a problem with running away. Uh, and you have to learn how to not want to run away. That's what um, this woman in my class is trying to do to me. Help me not run away. Because I do that too often. Sorry, I'm getting hiccups and stuff. Anyways, I'm going to be making another video. Probably talking about something else. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say about that. So, bye.